Yeah, Zach, this bill in question is House Bill 3216. It's by State Rep Kevin West. It had a lot of questions today in a public health committee. He says he wants to restrict easy access to Plan B, but he doesn't want to ban it. However, with the current language that's in this bill, both Republicans and Democrats are worried that this could ban things like Plan B, the morning after pill, or even IUDs. He says now he's open to changes and will have fellow Republicans as well as other lawmakers work on this bill to make sure it still keeps contraceptives that are legal and safe legal here in Oklahoma. Another bill that dealt with abortion that was also heard today was House Bill 3013. It's by Denise Cross White Hater. It criminalizes individuals who knowingly deliver or sell drugs intended to be used to induce an abortion. The bill proposes fines as high as $100,000 as well as a 10 year prison sentence. The concern is for if someone else buys them and or procures them however they do and shares them with someone else, whether through selling or giving with the intent to perform an abortion. This bill is one of many being considered this session, as we said, designed to limit access to medication abortions in Oklahoma. The bill does have exceptions for drugs used to treat ectopic pregnancies. And with this bill advancing out of a committee today along party lines, it now awaits on the it now awaits a vote on the House floor. Guys, back to you. All right, Andy, I know you've been busy covering the breaking news when it comes to that contraceptive pill, but I did want to ask you about this, too, because we've seen some developments on the elimination of the state's portion of the grocery tax. Yeah, today the governor, Governor Kevin Stitt, renewed his support for cutting and eliminating the state's grocery tax, which is 4.5%. Right now, there is a bill in the Senate authored by the pro tem Greg Treat that still awaits a committee hearing. Stitt saying in a statement today, quote, I applaud pro tem Treat for working to give Oklahomans relief on grocery taxes. Stitt also pushing on senators to move on income tax cuts, saying the House has already passed, adding that the Senate also has a tax cut available that would put more money in the pockets of Oklahomans this year. I did speak with the senator who is the vice chair of the committee where that bill is assigned to. He says he is open to hearing it, but is not yet assigned a date for it to be heard in that Senate Rules Committee.